Yeah, I'm recording. Okay. Okay, this is a, an, mm -hmm. an F chord. You use the C form. Just contain a piece of it. Bar and across the first four strings, and you're hammering on with the second and third finger. Hammer on, pull off. Hammer on, strum, pull off. And then the next chord is the C, using the G form. G chord, root on the sixth string, refinger. finger. There's a, there's a C using the G form. Once again, just playing a fragment of it, you're releasing your pinky, you're not strumming the sixth string. You're really just strumming the inside four strings. Not even really strumming the first string. You could, but you don't worry about it. And your pinky comes in right next to your third finger. That same hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off, hammer on, pull off. F, C, and the G. Here's a, where this is coming from, this is a uh, E form G chord. I'm just taking the notes that are on the third and fourth string out of that chord. Playing it with my second and third finger and doing that same kind of motion that we did with the A minor chord. But you skipped the fret because of the right. diatonic thing. Exactly, exactly. So okay. F, hammer on, pull off, C, hammer on, pull off. G, and you can let that second string ring because that, that the B is actually included in the G triad. Okay. And then you end on. What's that's a beautiful little A minor a, chord. What an a that is, if here's a C, here's an A chord using the C form. Uh -huh. If you flatter the third, that will make an A minor. Now this is in the tri section of the book. This frag, this is a. You'll never use the minor chord of the C form movable because it's hard on the pinky. Yeah, okay. but that triad is is usually. Uh, powerful on utility and then you have an open bass string there too to play when you play that chord so you go F C G bingo okay. then, you, then you go back to the songs okay okay, okay. alright All right. thank you